I don't consider myself a nostalgic or sentimental person, but in the fall of 1995, I met her. This is my lady, and it's her birthday. Don't mind me, I'm just a bit maniacal about you, and derailed when I'm without you. Don't mind me. It was, quite frankly, a pretty unremarkable first meeting. I was working in the campus bookstore and she came in to buy push pins. I asked around about her, first got to know her at the annual Dance Under the Stars, and we had our first date at the Kansas State Fair where our first inside joke was born. Don't mind me, if you could love me just a little, it'd be okay. Cause I couldn't leave you anyway. Don't mind me. We were hot and cold, off and on, together and not, but she was the one, you know? The one you just can't get out of your soul. My favorite thing to say on birthdays is, I'm glad you were born. A lot of birthday cards offer simple platitudes about why someone is important. Here's a couple stories that illustrate why I'm glad Geraldine was born. One's about me and one's not. It doesn't matter what you say, I just like the way you sound. And if you turn away, I'll just During a period of my life in college, I ran around pretty cocksure and proud about not caring about anything. I was selfish, I was rude, I was opinionated, and I would say things like, yeah, I'm a jerk, but I know I'm a jerk, this is me. Now my 39-year-old brain has trouble conceiving why my 20-year-old brain thought this was so profound and significant, and apparently Geraldine's 19-year-old brain did too. In what has become known in our house as the rebuttal, one night she looked me in the eye and said, yeah, all those words you say sound pretty important, but the fact remains, you're still just a jerk. It was like a dagger to my heart, like a punch to my soul. Somebody cared enough about me to say that to me, to call me on my shit. How do you not love somebody like that? Don't blame me, it's just your burning gravity. A few years ago, Geraldine's dad died, and it was pretty tragic, and it messed us up for a long time, and it still does in ways that we don't easily recognize. But in moments like that, a person has a choice. They can either retreat into themselves and become unable to function and move forward, or they can look at that pain and they can make something of it. Geraldine did the latter. She went back to school, she got her master's degree, and she became a speech-language pathologist, fulfilling her lifelong dream. And she did it for her. She looked at that pain, and she didn't let it beat her. Now, I'm not saying it was easy, and she wouldn't either, but she saw in that pain an opportunity to define herself. How can you not admire somebody who rises up and claims their own strength? It doesn't matter what you say I just like the way you say My lady is a lot of things. She's a great mom, she's a great friend, she's a dedicated therapist, and she's funny as hell. And I'm really glad that she was born. I hope one day you get to meet her so that you can feel that way about her too. If you could love me, if you could only love me, I'd walk across that coast to you, I'd stop the rain and wind for you. Save all of my sin for you, for you, for you. It doesn't matter what you say. I just like the way you sound. And if you turn away, I'll 
happy birthday, lady.